Hi, this is Shelley Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you from the Cambridge House Resource Conference 2012 in lovely downtown Vancouver, BC. I have Amir Adnani of Brazil Resources BRI on the TSX Venture. Welcome to SNN Live. Uh, thanks for having me, Shelley, and uh, good to be talking to your audience here. It's nice to have you. Now, this is an investor-based audience yep. sprinkled with many institutional specialists. We're always interested in hearing the story about a company, so why don't you tell us the story? You know, Brazil Resources was, uh, just like any good company, is built on the back of some very solid technical people that have been involved in discovering and developing over 10 million ounces of gold in Brazil. And so it's a very uh, specialized and focused team understanding what the potential and geology uh, situation in Brazil is. We're focused on gold and uh, we uh, IPO'd last summer. We had 5,000 acres under control. Today we have 300,000 acres under control. And we're looking for gold where gold has been mined before at surface by artisanal miners that have been doing it for centuries in Brazil. It's a, it's a good way to take some of the risk out of the equation when you have gold at surface that has been mined and, and, and you know that the potential is there. Uh, so that's what the business model with Brazil Resources is, a strong technical team that has got a proven track record in Brazil, a large land package, uh, and we're in areas of Brazil where there's currently gold mining taking place within 15, 20 km, uh, 15 to 20 kilometers of our project, there's mines being built. Uh, and this is in northeastern Brazil. So, so let me guess. Yeah. You're using the tried and true method of going where you know the gold is. Yeah. You bring in a bunch of Canadian geologists and engineers, and all of a sudden, you can't go wrong, correct? Well, except for one part. We don't necessarily bring a lot of Canadian geologists. <laughs> Our entire technical team uh, is, is uh, comprised of Brazilian geologists that have worked and lived in Brazil and are currently still living and working in Brazil for us. And so that's, to, in my opinion, that's what makes a big difference. I did exactly the same thing and I still am acting uh, as a, in Brazil Resources, I'm the chairman. My other full-time job is CEO of a uranium company, Uranium Energy, and we just started production a year ago. We're the newest uranium producer there. Our production's in Texas, and there we built a technical team that was from Texas, that had worked in Texas for over 30 years, and that's how we successfully transitioned in a tough uranium market into production. With Brazil Resources, we're taking a play out of the same playbook that's worked well for us, which is take a team that understands the terrain, the country, they're from there, and just execute. And really, what, you, what we've been very fortunate with is having some very strong institutional shareholders that have put their money where their mouth is. We just uh, uh, raised uh, $5 million, or close to $5 million, this last December. December in a tough market uh, at a very good price uh, with no warrants and so our capital structure is uh, very tight with only 39 million shares out and we have over 10 million in cash and so an investor knows that they can uh, back a good technical team with us that also has the financial endurance to really be able to execute and repeat the kind of success they've had in Brazil over decades. Sounds good. I like the model okay. and I like the technical team. I like the entire thing. Now, most people think that the only thing they do in Brazil is ethanol. It's good to hear about a gold mining project. But that's the opportunity, Shelley. What, uh, and that's, uh, you hit the nail on the head. Brazil for so many years and decades has been has been dominated by the big mining companies there like Vale, focused on iron ore and bulk metals and ethanol and whatnot. Gold has almost been this forgotten metal in Brazil. Over the last couple of years we've seen record dollars raised by Canadian companies to explore for gold in Brazil. And so uh, even though this is a large country, even though it has one of the most stable political environments in all of South America, even though we've got record gold prices, we have one of the most lightly explored countries for gold, but with known gold potential because these artisanal miners have mined gold from surface for over 150, I mean, for, for centuries. And so that, that's what's remarkable is that at this stage of the gold cycle, to find an opportunity like this, uh, in my opinion, is, is quite unique. And you just hit the nail on the head. Well, I think it's true. I think that you don't recognize Brazil, uh, uh, Amir, you said it yourself, as a major gold-producing place. It just, you know, that may change. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I think it's small companies like yours that will be the leaders of making it change. Because 
You could grow your company there nice and quietly, buy up all this acreage where, you know, I mean, you're sleepy, quiet, but good. That's, that's exactly what we think we've accomplished. And so it's just, again, from here on, just execute on our business plan. We've got the capital to do it. And uh, we've got some very supportive institutional shareholders that uh, obviously have invested in the company. And again, a technical team that uh, has done it there before and uh, they've discovered ounces. So chances of them having success is high because these are, these are some very competent people. I'm going to give you a tough question now. Hello. What's your website? <laughs> Easy, brazilresources.com. Brazil Resources Inc. being the company. Ladies and gentlemen, Amir Adnani, Brazil Resources, symbol BRI on the TSX Venture Exchange. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Shelly.